Hey, what's going on, fellas? How you doing, man? Tanelli here. Answering your questions today. Question sent in was, have you been in a bench-clearing brawl at the major league level or any other level? So, um, I have been in a bunch. Let's break it down like this first. I've been in, and there's been a lot of instances throughout pro ball and in the major leagues where, um, you know, there was a disagreement and the bench is cleared. So, I've been in a bunch of those. Um, there's been only two times where we actually got on the field and people were throwing punches or really like grabbing each other, screaming, yelling, throwing guys. It's only happened twice in my career. So I'll break down both of those instances, kind of how they started and what transpired. Um, the first one was my first year in pro ball. So get drafted, go to short season A ball, get called up to um, low A, team was Fort Wayne, uh, the Fort Wayne Wizards uh, in the Midwest League, went up for the playoffs. So uh, it's my first time in pro ball first season, only been playing for a couple of months. In high school, in college, you don't have the, you don't have bench clearing brawls, right? You, you're you not allowed to go on the field, you get suspended, all kinds of crazy stuff happens. Um, in pro ball, it's a lot different. Um, so I get to the playoffs, you know, apparently, you know, I'm new to the team. It was myself and a couple guys from um, the Eugene Emeralds, which was our short season team, guys that just got drafted, a couple of us got called up. And so we get up there, we're in the playoffs. Apparently, you know, the, the, our team and the team we were playing hadn't gotten along throughout the year. Um, and so we're playing a playoff game. All of a sudden, um, one of my teammates, Will Venable, slides in the second base, kind of, you know, takes out one of their middle infielders. Nothing dirty about it. All of a sudden, they start kind of getting in each other's faces. And before you know it, like, they're basically going at it and everybody is running to the middle of the field. And so I'm on, I'm on the bench at that time. Um, and again, I've never been in anything like this. And so all of a sudden, like people are running on the field, the benches start to clear. And one of our other teammates, um, who was Josh Alley turns to us and it's like me and I forget who else was on the bench. Maybe my buddy, uh, Wade LeBlanc there, I think he might have been, and maybe Chad Huffman. There was a couple of us that just got called up. Um, and we're kind of sitting there like, what do we do? And Josh turns to us and goes, what are we doing? Let's go. And takes off dead sprint into to the field. So we all kind of get going too. We come running on. And guys are literally throwing haymakers like it's a straight out street fight, just brawl. And so, you know, I come running on the field and I really don't know what to do. I, I don't have anyone that I need to punch. Um, I'm kind of like looking around, making sure that I don't get sucker punched in the side of the face. And so the fight kind of goes down into like their dugout area. And so guys end up just kind of grabbing guys. You know, I'm just kind of grabbing guys, making sure no one's killing anybody out there. Um, again, I, I barely know my team. I just got called up. I don't know anyone on their team. I hadn't been... Um, you know, I hadn't been there, so I don't know what happened early in the year. So I'm just trying to kind of break up fights and stuff. So that was my first experience for a bench clearing brawl where guys were literally just getting pounded, right? And so you're just trying to not get killed. You're trying to keep your head in the swivel, making sure that no hooks are coming to the side of the face. Uh, and just trying to protect your guys and, and you know, any basically any fights that are going on, you just try to break them up at that point. Um, so that was the first one. The second one um, at the major league level I was with the Washington Nationals. We're in spring training. We're playing against the St. Louis Cardinals. And um, Niger Morgan was on our team on the Nationals. Hits a ground ball. He's running the first. And he accidentally steps on Pujols's, um, like his Achilles, like his back of his heel at first base. So he kind of steps on it. And Pujols kind of gets mad. He throws his glove down. He's kind of hobbling around the field. And um, so nothing really happens. No one said anything. A few guys yell a few things, whatever, come off. Well, Niger gets up the second time, and they drill him. So they hit him, and he kind of, you know, takes exception to it. He kind of jarring a little bit back at the pitcher, start getting into it a little bit. Nothing crazy. Um, so, like, an inning later, um, we drill one of their guys. And now it's kind of like, get, now it's getting going. Like, managers are yelling at each other. Uh, Jim Regelman was our manager, and um, um, Tony LaRusso was their manager. Um, and so they're kind of going at each other and tensions are starting to f get going and get flaring a little bit. And then all of a sudden, like an inning or so later, um, they come back and drill one of our guys and the benches just freaking erupt. Coaches or managers are screaming at each other. 
everyone comes flying on the field. I don't remember any punches being thrown, but I remember guys like really getting into it, guys ripping guys off of each other, like th- pushing and shoving. And so again, at that time, you know, I just, I just got, I just signed with the Nationals. It's early in the year. Same thing. I don't really know my teammates very well. I don't know a lot of the guys on the other team. Um, and so you, you run on the field. You know, first thing is you, just, you go on the field. And what I did was when we're playing the Cardinals, my buddy Dave Freeze, who was the Cardinals' third baseman at the time, um, we were we got drafted the same year with the Padres. He was my first roommate. So when I got to Eugene, um, you know, he was he was my buddy. We were, we were roommates that year. And so, you know, I would come running on the field, and I'm just like. You know, I, I didn't think I was going to get punched because it wasn't one of those fights where there was just haymakers being thrown. But I kind of run out there and I kind of look for somebody I know. And I'm like, oh, there's Dave. So I kind of run over to him and just kind of grab onto him and like pretend that I'm doing something, but I'm really not just so I, I know that he's not going to punch me in the face. Um, you know, guys are kind of getting into it again. And then it all breaks up. But the managers were absolutely going berserk on each other, just in each other's face, screaming and yelling. First time I really seen two managers just going at it like that. Um, so that was my first experience with an MLB team. Um, no punches thrown, at least I don't think. Um, so it wasn't as exciting as the first one where there were just absolute haymakers being thrown. But the interesting thing about it is, at least in my experience, um, whether playing or, or talking to buddies and teammates, crazy stuff happens at the minor leagues, right? Especially at the low minor leagues. You get some real crazy people. And you know, I think maybe at the major league level, you know, games are on TV, everything is seen and heard, but at the minor league level, especially the low minor leagues, you know, there's no one watching, there's nothing going on, so guys do some crazy stuff. I've heard stories of guys taking bats and throwing bats at people, um, and so I haven't been in any of those examples of fights, but um, they do happen. So hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of insight into kind of what happens at a bench-clearing brawl. I survived, never got punched, so it wasn't that exciting for me, but pretty interesting watching it all go down. Um, so thank you again for the question. Let me know if you have any, any more questions. Put in the comment section below. I'll try to get to you guys. I got about 150, 200 more questions I got to get to. Um, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Give us a thumbs up for this video. I'd really appreciate that. Share with all your friends. Check out our Instagram page, Antony Baseball, and our Twitter feed, Matt Antony 99. We're posting videos every day for you guys. Um, check out the description box below where I put a bunch of links to books I've been reading that I find interesting and also some training tools we use with our guys that I think you'd like. Um, check out our website, AnthonyBaseball.com, and learn how to work with myself, our staff, be part of our teams. And uh, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate it. Good luck to you guys that are playing in your seasons right now, and we'll talk to you later.